I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Lareska with your need to know weather. Today, a weather alert day for the potential for some flooding. Yes, it's going to be a nuisance type of flooding where street flooding will be possible. Right now, we're not anticipating any sort of bayou or creek flooding, but there could be some rapid rises in some of these watersheds, not just today, but over the next couple of days. That flood risk is a level two out of four, and you can see some very heavy rain is on tap for today. That's going to last through this evening. Some areas picking up on average anywhere between two to four inches today. And then tomorrow and Wednesday, an additional one to three inches will be possible on Tuesday, one to two inches possible on Wednesday. So we've got multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms, a few thunderstorms possible this morning. You can see as we go into the afternoon, we'll get another wave of heavy rain coming in during the afternoon hours. That starts to taper off and then we get another little round here, another cluster of showers moving in for the evening commute. Not as widespread, a little bit more scattered, but nonetheless on saturated ground that could lead to some ponding on the roads, also on the feeder. So you've got to be extra careful, not just driving this morning, but also headed, uh, headed home later on today. Now, as you go into Tuesday, you can see that the coverage has lessened, but there's still going to be some scattered downpours, uh, not as bad during the afternoon as well. Some of our northern counties could pick up some additional rainfall and then heading into the evening hours on Tuesday. It does look like the coverage begins to increase. So we'll be monitoring, of course, that trend. The flood risk, as I mentioned today, a level two out of four, that continues on Tuesday. And then we slowly start to see that level begin to shift further to the east. Still a level one though on Wednesday for the potential for that flooding. Today's highs noticeably warmer compared to yesterday with the Gulf breeze blowing in. Temperature readings instead of the 40s like we were on Saturday and Sunday will be in the 60s for most areas, upper 50s in our northwest counties. Those overnight lows will be falling into the upper 50s to low 60s. So multiple storms ahead for this week. Storm number one, that's today's storm, slides out of here overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. We'll still be in between storms on Tuesday, but you can still see a pretty good fetch of moisture moving into our area. Storm two moves in late Tuesday night into Wednesday. That drives up the rain chances once again. That should clear out, giving us a little bit of a lull in the activity on Thursday. And then storm number three coming in sometime Friday Friday afternoon into the evening hours gives us another chance of rain overnight Friday and into Saturday. And when you combine over the next five days, that rain could stack up anywhere between four to eight inches across our area. We dry out on Sunday, bringing down the temperatures as well. Overnight lows by next Monday morning in the low 40s with highs somewhere in the 50s and 60s. So very busy start to the work week. Make sure you stay weather get aware again today, a weather alert day due to the potential for some locally heavy rain that could lead to some street flooding. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Lareska. Thanks for watching.